Hey everyone, so last week I asked a couple of my friends if they were interested in playing some Left 4 Dead 2. I wanted to experience something I haven't really experienced since my high school days. Just casually trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. And to my surprise, I had a blast and I realized something soon after we wrapped up our session for the night. I think Left 4 Dead might be one of the only zombie games that becomes better with age. It perfectly encapsulates all the ingredients you need for a cooperative first person shooter wrapped inside a meaty and frankly intense experience. So let's talk about the beginning of Left 4 Dead for a second. So back in 2008, Left 4 Dead hit shelves and immediately sold, selling up to over half a million copies in just shy of two months. With the Orange Box and other Valve titles exceeding expectations, Left 4 Dead was immediately well received by fans, and by the same time next year, the game will have sold nearly 3 million copies. For years to come, it's been a game you can return to and instantly transport yourself back to the good old days. Which brings me to why my title says this is the ultimate zombie experience. This isn't a game with skill trees, there's no perks, and nothing giving the player an upper edge. This is raw, unfiltered chaos. With hordes of zombies constantly beating you senseless as you unload magazine after magazine into their lifeless yet unrelenting bodies, hoping to either free yourself or a friend of the inevitable, it purely relies solely on your skill as a player. Your only goal of the entire game is surviving and overcoming the persistent director trying to end your run. This brings me to one of the most unique features that we see now with most 4 player cooperative games, the system called The Director. The Director monitors all the player's performances and adjusts the difficulty of the game on the fly. This also means that no two playthroughs of the game are ever going to be the same. Replayability alone with this in mind takes the game to endless capabilities, making sure that fun comes first. The cooperative nature of Left 4 Dead is unique as well. You can't just run ahead of everyone hoping to snag all the items and goodies for yourself. You need to work together and assist each other to ensure your survival. I found myself grabbing medical items on my run not only for myself, but to eventually toss to a teammate so they can heal and stay in the fight. This constant need of team management is the core of what makes Left 4 Dead stand out. Now, not making this a hero shooter gives the game a more dynamic viewpoint. No player has an advantage over the other. Besides appearance and voice lines, no one is different. This means everyone is on a level playing field, and making sure that the team composition is optimized just really means that making sure everyone can move forward without worrying about death lurking around the corner. Speaking of death, let's talk about the variety of enemies and how Valve created one of the coolest game mechanics that is still being used across other cooperative shooters. So Left 4 Dead features a variety of enemy types, each with their unique strengths and weaknesses. They can vary from the slow moving yet easily dispatched common infected, to the tough and resilient tank. The survivors must adapt their strategies and tactics to deal with each enemy type on the fly to ensure survival. Valve created a system of telling which enemy was around you without actually ever seeing the special infected. The use of these sound cues describes exactly the immediate danger that is ahead of you. And those brief moments when one plays immediately shifts the team's perspective. You're no longer relying on your eyes, but rather your ears for any upcoming threats. This one gameplay mechanic adds so much atmosphere to the game that it's impossible to ignore. Most games now utilize a similar tone to help players identify a foreseeable danger, but Left 4 Dead is almost in a masterclass of its own with this one. In addition to the awesome cooperative campaign mode, Left 4 Dead also features several multiplayer modes including Versus and Survival. Versus mode allows players to take turns playing as the survivors and the infected, while Survival mode challenges players to survive as long as possible against the endless wave of infected. I put in some serious hours back in the day, staying over friends' houses with a LAN set up just so we can play against each other in versus mode. The memories of hearing my friends in the other room scream in fear as the boomer I'm playing explodes, alerting the entire horde to them, gave me such a feeling of excitement and laughter that honestly no other game has given me to this day. I normally like to keep these little video essays short and sweet, but this was something I needed to get off my chest. Left 4 Dead is one of those games that to me only gets better every time we play it. Every choice made in crafting a distinctive and special experience is shown on display nearly every time I play this game. And nowadays with mod support on the PC, you can play custom maps, game modes, and even change the survivors to be some of your favorite characters in all of gaming and pop culture. Left 4 Dead is considered the ultimate zombie experience to me for many reasons. And if you haven't played Left 4 Dead yet, it's definitely worth checking out even now, and I seriously recommend it. It's usually always on sale on Steam, and it can run on the most potato of PCs. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening to me rant about this 15 year old game that still means a lot to me. If you care to hear me talk about more games that mean a lot to me, then please subscribe and leave a like on this video. I really hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you in the next one.